Yeah, hi love, it's um, day five of the trip and uh, we're on the uh, penny farthing, got in here uh, the day before yesterday. Um, quite a nice system, um, very, 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 very hard to get into. But um, here's one of the other guys from the camp. I'm actually filming just from uh, in front of our tent. Last night about 10 o'clock I walked down here and uh, put the spotlight on this stump and there was a cr uh, crock about, oh, well, I guess somewhere between five and seven feet, just comfortably cruising up and down the um, this little bit of a river system here feeding on the bank and then just a little further up over in that little bit of a uh, alcove in there there was um, another one couldn't see the size of him all I could see was the pink eyes but um, yeah so they're around so you've actually got line at that section there yeah then as you come down the road you come to the to the fly line to the fly line that's, that's yeah. is that the same croc that sleeps yeah I'd say it would be yeah. be servicing about three or four <laughs> as I drove into the camp here um, Yesterday, this fella here was in the back of one of the guys' uh, utes, helping himself to the uh, food in the back of the truck. There'd be about um, four or five of them just readily coming into the camp at the moment. Um, you don't even bother washing up at night, just put your plates out the next morning, most of it's gone. It's a really great camping spot here, Makala. The um, camped underneath a uh, big fir tree and uh, nice and shady most of the day. And then you go down right to the lagoon you can launch a boat very easily just a little bit further back there you can see uh, my boat ready to be launched and come down here and here's where I was watching the croc last night these guys have uh, the three of them will come up from Sydney they're here for about three months uh, got a really good camp set up uh, four-wheeler um, car top a boat and uh, very well organized solar panels but coming in here is a hell of a trip, so obviously uh, uh, doing it for that period of time makes it a lot more sensible. Um, I couldn't recommend coming in here for three days like we have if you're uh, doing anything other than um, video shoots, but I can tell you the road in here is as rough as guts. Your uh, truck took the trip really well. She handles the sand very, very well. Uh, dropped the tyres down to about uh, 20 psi and uh, um, she gets through the sand real well. The um, boat and or the truck and the trailer fared well. It's a shame the boat didn't um, have such a lucky trip up here. I ended up uh, splitting the hull. Here's the damage to the hull after I'd repaired it. I uh, got about a uh, three and a half inch crack there. Uh, at this worst part, it's wide enough to push a matchstick through. Uh, just repaired it with a couple of plates of aluminium and some rubber hose and. Um, truckloads of silicon, um, got a plate and rubber underneath and plate and rubber on the top and um, drilled through the hole but it didn't matter, I was drilling through where it was already uh, cracked anyway. Uh, hopefully that's going to fix the problem because when I first went out uh, the dam water was taking on faster than the bilge pump could handle it. Interesting experience. Well obviously, obviously our mates don't uh, believe in roughing it even in the bush, we've got both ladies and gents toilets here. Ours is a little bit further down the path. As you can see, the men's toilet is uh, state of the art and uh, comes complete with a turkey that comes in and um, cleans up the cam.
You want any crab baits? Absolutely. Well, sometimes communications in the bush can get a bit tough and uh, John from Henley certainly has come up with a very interesting way of handling it. What we've got here is uh, Bruno's got a mobile phone that he's able to uh, either send a text message through or they've That'll got a little... That'll be the next G from Telstra. Ne and so it's got Telstra, a, yeah. a free phone for the next six months. <laughs> meet all my friends <laughs> So it's Telstra. for you. So then it goes in the sock. Hang on a sec, I need to write the message now. When he's ready to send it. But they've also got it worked out that they've got some headgear with blue, uh, Bluetooth. They can whip the phone up to the top of the tree as you'll see in a moment. And they can actually use Bluetooth to uh, communicate with the outside world. Okay, the socks. Put it in. The message is now sending. Wind up the phone, get the energy happening. Up it goes. Now, if that isn't a new twist on technology, well, I don't know what is. Bing bing. If you've got good ears, you can even hear it after it's sent the text. We'll just give it a go, there's, see if it moves, and that's there's another good bogging. On the road into the, or in this Are case, the road out. Yeah. Okay. We've got the patrol with a snatch trap. Going back to the other bog vehicle. They're getting ready to give it a go. Moving on. Snatch trap's engaging, and out we come. Nice and easy. Now they're confronted with a bit of the, the hill up ahead, which is going to be the issue. Test. Uh, we're down again. Okay, he's backing up in preparation to give it another snatch. And here he goes with the snatch as fast as possible. And we've got momentum again. But in backing up, steady progress, but it's going up a hill, so it's obviously hard. Here we go again. More movement this time. It's going to be a steady progression up the hill. And again, here we go. Looking much more promising now as they're getting to the other vehicles at the crest of the hill. And it's a done deal. The dunes, you've got about a nine kilometer of drive down to the Penny Father. Now you're really in the rough of it and uh, there is just no stopping. You stop here, you bug it. This goes on and on now for about uh, three to four k's. Keeping the speed up irrespective of the bumps. Try to avoid, talking to Peter the Aboriginal guy, try to avoid travelling in the heat of the day. The sand expands and is therefore much more difficult to work through. Reserve coming through this area between uh, early part of the morning and the late part of the afternoon. I got bogged on the road and started to walk into the bush and uh, found this a pretty unusual um, thing to find in the middle of the bush. I was looking for some branches to put under the tyres. A couple of minutes later I stumbled onto a second one and quite frankly a bit of a path and thought this is interesting, I wonder where it leads. Anyway, just a bit further along I found this. It's a brand new tent, complete camping gear. I haven't touched it naturally enough, though it is not fishing net. That's actual stuff that they uh, are using. It's not net for illegal fishing. As far as I can tell anyway, it's too small. Um, Obviously the only reason this is here is some other poor buggers broken down on the road as well or got bogged and couldn't get out and um, had to abandon his gear and uh, hide it in the bush for his next trip.